Hey guys, Andy here. So I love gadgets, obviously, and recently I love cycling. So I love it when those two interests or passions cross, which is exactly what we have here with the Quark TireWiz real-time pressure monitors, which is what I'm taking a look at today. So here's the packet. Uh, you can see it's got AMP Plus and Bluetooth. And the, uh, the big space for the accessory is this little gadget, which you'll need to get the core of the valve out. These are the actual sensors, which, are, as I say, are going to replace the core in your tyres, um, which we will get onto momentarily. So first of all, I found it easier to pair them up through the app for my particular Wahoo. Um, you can rename them at a later point, say which is the front wheel, which is the back wheel. And uh, then there's the app, there's a few different apps. So try and find the one that's got the red icon like this. And again, it sort of allows you to say if it's front tire or rear tire, you can, I think you can change that later on. In fact, I had to re sort of add them into the app later. So here I am taking the core out. Now, <laughs> I hadn't really thought about it, but yeah, let some pressure out first because it's shot out at quite a velocity. And then I'm placing the sensor back in where the core was to the obviously fully deflated tire. I did find as well that the stalk wasn't that long. So my uh, track pump would kind of almost wiggle its way off a little bit and you could hear air escaping, but it was still enough to pump it up. And you can see as I'm pumping, the pressure is going up in the app as I'm pumping. I then spent quite some time trying to get the valve out of the rear in a tube until I realized that it was not a removable valve. So I took that one out, put a different inner tube in uh, and took the core out of that and we're back in business. <laughs> I don't quite know why I put this shot in, but I thought it was quite amusing. Again, you can watch the pressures go up. So as you're uh, pumping the tires up, both of the pressure showed us red there, but I'll show you later, you can set like a target so it'll go green when you're in the target zone. And it's a matter of putting the bike back together. Obviously you don't need to take the bike to it, because I had to take the inner tube out and put a new inner tube in. So uh, key thing then is along with your levers, don't forget the core removal tool. You can get them for only like a pound or two from places like Wiggle or even Amazon. It's worth having a few and just dot them around the place. So here we go, I'm gonna set the target to 100 and uh, then I'm going to set the sort of leeway to 10 PSI. So anything from 90 to 110 will show as green. Uh, and in fact, the LED on the device then flashes green when it's set to the correct PSI. And you can see there on my Wahoo, the front and back are showing us 107 PSI. Um, so for me, I guess the question is, are they worth it? Probably not, they're 200 pounds. I was lucky I got them kind of second hand but new, um, so I didn't pay 200 pound. And I guess it's down to how much you can get them for and what you think is worth the price. And there's already people saying to me, why on earth have you done that? Why do you need that? You don't need that. Um, but I'm just one of those guys I'm riding along, I'm always looking down at my rear tire thinking, hmm, does it feel a bit soft? Has, has the pressure gone down a bit? And I don't want to have to keep pumping up every time I go out to a ride. I ride like three or four times a week sometimes, well, more than that sometimes. Um, and I'd rather, if I can just glance at a number to know that it's at a correct pressure, that's actually really valuable to me. Um, it'll just give me that peace of mind. So it's not about letting me know that I've got a flat, it's just letting me know that my pressure's low because my pressure's low, a big guy like me, that's when you get the pinch flats on the, the tube gets pinched against the, the rim and it gets the hole and that's how you get the flat. So it's flat prevention is hopefully, because I've had so many flats over the last 18 months of riding. I mean, it's gotta be 30 to 40 and most of them are pinch flats where probably I didn't have enough pressure in the tire. So hopefully this is gonna let me know before that happens and I can make sure that I'm always riding with the correct pressures. So let me know what you think in the comments down below, but for now, my name's Andy and I'll catch you all again soon.